A. A. Milne, the author and writer of Winnie the Pooh, once said, How lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Hi, I'm Alex, and this is The Englishoneer, where we look into what people say in English and why they say it. In a previous video, I mentioned how cheerio was often used as a way to say goodbye, and that got me thinking about all the other ways, some of which we inherited from our ancestors in Britain, and others that we have borrowed from our European cousins, or even a little bit further afield. Let's start with the easy one first. Goodbye was originally God be with ye, the ye meaning you, the plural of you. And as so often happens in English, it all got squashed together. It can be further shortened to simply bye-bye or bye. Farewell is an often used phrase where the word fair in this case means to go or to travel. So it's like saying, have a good journey, journey well. The expression so long is a bit of a mystery. It seems to be more of an Americanism originating perhaps from a German idiom, Svalange, meaning for such a long time. Or it could even be from the Yiddish Shalom, which literally translates to peace. There are some expressions that seem to me a little old-fashioned, but which have recently seen a resurgence. Toodaloo was commonly heard during the early 20th century. Uh, they think it came from the French tout à l'heure and became anglicized. The more slightly more modern toodles also is a possibility. Where the French might say adieu, a shortening of adieu vous comment, meaning I commend you to God, the Spanish would say adios. The French au revoir, meaning until I see you again, is the equivalent of the German auf Wiedersehen, although less formally they just say tschüss. All of these are not unfamiliar due to the United States or Britain being a country of immigrants while also trying to make us sound a little bit more sophisticated. Informally, it is not unusual to hear someone say ta-ra or ta-ta in Britain, although not so much in the States. Although TTFN is regularly seen in texts and messages and means ta-ta for now. Italians say ciao to say both hello and goodbye, whereas in Brazil it is spelled differently and is usually just for goodbye. It has an interesting history coming from the Italian schiavo and literally means your slave, or perhaps more politically correct would be your servant. A lot of people think that namaste that we often hear in spiritual environments and it means hello or goodbye. And while it can be used to communicate that idea, it is actually Hindi for I bow to the divine in you, accompanied by a little bow of the head. I often hear students or receive messages from them starting with the words good night, when in fact the correct term for welcoming someone after 6 p.m. is good evening. Good night is reserved for when you are leaving a place in the evening or going to bed. A child's version of this is night night or nighty night. We have often heard the Japanese expression sayonara meaning goodbye, although this is quite formal and rarely used. It's apparently more common to say bye-bye. We have a number of sayings and expressions regarding the saying of goodbye and people leaving in general. A good children's one is see you later alligator. The other would respond in a while crocodile. Also see ya when I see ya and the cryptic there is an Irish poem that wishes visitors a good journey, both physically and in life in general. And I think it's fitting that we finish this video on this positive note. It goes like this. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. 
May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft on your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thanks for watching. If you do have any questions or doubts, please put them in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you in the next video. Until we meet again, bye.